Hello guys, welcome back. Today I picked up this mower. It has a 17 and a half horse bridge and strand on it, single cylinder. It has the problem where it seems like it has too much compression. When you turn the key, it doesn't want to go past the compression stroke. First thing I did was check the battery. The battery is brand new and it is fully charged. The second thing I did was pull off the tappet cover, adjusted the valves to the numbers on the motor. They were in range. So the third thing would be that the camshaft is broken. The compression release valve must have come off or just wore out one or the other. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to pull this engine and then I'll show you how to change that cam. All right, once you get your motor off, pull your plug, drain your oil as much as you can get out of it. Then uh, put your plug back in. Then flip your motor upside down so your shaft is sticking up. And then we'll take the bolts out to get to that camshaft. All right, these bolts here, they're usually half inch. Sometimes I'll come across them, they're three eighths. To get all your bolts out and take a rubber mallet and gently tap in an upwards position for your sump to come out. Remove your governor. As you can see, it's pieces of the camshaft, which would be your compression relievers. Next, you're going to want to take your valve cover off. Next, you're going to loosen your adjusting nut so that the rods are not pushing against the cam so you can get the cam out. And the cam should just slide right up. And as you can see, it's mission the compression release. You may have to fish it out of the bottom. It should be in here somewhere. Make sure you get it all before you put it back together. Here's the new one I'm going to put back in it. You can see the pins in there. Your compression cup release. There's a dot here, and a small dot here. Those have to line up. To be in time. Then go through, clean off all the gasket material. Do the same with this. Clean all this out and any debris. All right, after you dug through and found all the broken pieces from your cam, we'll put the governor back in. Just like this. This part sits against the lever. like so. And 
All right, next step, put your gasket on. Mine's a homemade gasket, so yes, it looks like crap, but it will work. Get your cover back on. Now we're going to set the valves that we loosened up. Take your spark plug out. Easiest way to do this. Take a screwdriver, insert it in the hole, turn your engine by hand until you feel the piston at very top dead center. Then we'll set our bell specs according to the engine number. This one's a 31R907. Overhead single valve, 31000. Intake, 0 0.003 to 0 0.005. Exhaust, 0 0.005 to 0 0.007. Start with the intake. This bolt is a 5 8 wrench. And the Torx bit is a T20. It should just feel some resistance, but yet should still slide. Now the bottom will set to 0 0.005. That'll be the exhaust. nut is what tightens it. Hold the nut. Tighten your torque screw. And just some resistance. Once that's finished, reinstall your valve cover, or also called tap it cover. Your four bolts, tighten them with a 3 8 socket. Use a fresh gasket if needed. Reinstall your spark plug. And now we're ready to reinstall the engine to the riding mower. All right guys, I got the engine back on. All the wires hooked up, my gas line, my throttle cable. 
Make sure you add oil. Do not attempt to try to start this without oil. You will destroy your engine. I'm gonna roll this out of the barn and we'll start it outside. 